with Elijah Moore gone to Cleveland and Corey Davis expected to be a cap casualty, should the New York Jets pivot to DeAndre Hopkins? Inside, and a beauty! Hall running free! Reese Hall inside the 10! He's gonna score! What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Talking Jets with Tigo. My name is Tigo, and yeah, we're going to be talking about should the Jets probably go after DeAndre Hopkins? I really, really, really think they should. And here's a couple of things and a couple of reasons why. If we look at our wide receiver room as of right now, you're looking at a pretty good room if we include Corey Davis, right? Uh, Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazard, Corey Davis, Denzel Mims. Like, that's a solid four wide receivers. You maybe add a guy like Randall Cobb. But the expectation is that Corey Davis is gone and not going to be a part of this team. And while OBJ is out there and he would just, just cost straight up money, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of of bringing in OBJ. We just got rid of a locker room problem. Maybe bringing in a guy who's known to be a locker room problem, not the best option. Well, DeAndre Hopkins, we know, is available for trade. And before, I wasn't in on the DeAndre Hopkins trade because the rumor came out that Arizona was looking for a second-round pick for DeAndre Hopkins. Well, since that happened, Brandon Cooks got traded from the Houston Texans to the Dallas Cowboys, and that went on for a fifth and a sixth. If you're telling me that DeAndre Hopkins could be had for a fifth or a sixth round pick, and here's the kicker, DeAndre Hopkins' contract is massive, so the Arizona Cardinals maybe wouldn't have the most amount of leverage... I think the New York Jets should pivot. And here's the kicker on why I think you should absolutely should go after a DeAndre Hopkins. He has two years left on his deal, and his cap hit over those two years is $34.3 million. Here's the problem. The 2023 cap hit this year would be $19.45 million worth of dead cap hit, while the 2024 dead cap hit would be $14.9 one five million dollar cap uh now next year's cap hit is not that bad 15 million dollars for a top 10 wide receiver when he actually has weapons and like he was a top 10 wide receiver maybe he can get to that level again with Aaron Rodgers that 19 million dollar cap hit is a problem but Spotrack goes and says that if you do a full cap conversion and add three years Three void years to the back end of the contract, you can lower his $19.45 million cap hit down to a $5 million cap hit this year. That is totally worth it. If you're telling me that we can eat some dead cap hit on the back three years of the contract, the years where the salary cap absolutely explodes, the years we don't have Aaron Rodgers on the roster and we're moving on and doing all of those things and retooling this roster where you're paying Garrett Wilson and you don't need him on this team anymore, that's totally worth it. I think the plan has to be to go after a guy like DeAndre Hopkins, especially if it's only going to cost you a late round pick, a day three pick at the most. It's definitely something that I am now more interested in after the Elijah Moore trade has gone through and with the expectation that Corey Davis is gone. Guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think the New York Jets should do. Should we pursue DeAndre Hopkins? And last but not least, go Jets.